Continuing with painting Predalians, I gave these two some washes off camera. On the green on the back, you just had the uh, dark green wash. And this guy, who we've just started, had a very, very liberal wash of Ethonian camo shade all over both the darker green and the more sort of lighter green-brown flesh tone. Uh, it's a bit odd looking back at painting. I realise that what I haven't explained is I don't really go for much in the way of blending techniques at all. I tend to do an awful lot of layering. Um, just It comes down to careful choice of colour more. Um, layering, using a lot of washes, using a lot of effect paints to try and get um, some different looks. These are, for me, primarily gaming pieces rather than display models. So, although I do like to take my time painting some things, this is going to be relatively quick. I'm not looking to um, win a Golden Demon Slayer sword or anything. So yeah, I'm going to continue on and build up the body. See if I can get this thing to stay in focus. Right, let's give it a go. So having done the um, base coat of Elysian Green and then washed over it, I'm going to go back over it with Elysian Green and then move on to Ogryn Camo and then the um, Shabti Bone. Just simple layering techniques, picking out certain areas that I want to highlight. Uh, and then every now and then I'll knock it back with um, a wash of usually of Agrax Earthshade, probably mixed with a little bit of... Um, not Agrax Earthshade. The green one. That one. Athonian Camo Shade. Um, knock that back with a few washes. I like to use washes to blend colours. It works better on larger miniatures when you've got a larger surface area, but it works reasonably well on smaller models as well.
Next thing I'm going to do on this Predalien is start working on the little bits of tubing that are dotted around the arms, the legs, the thighs, here and there, in a dark silver colour, this sort of gunmetal called Lead Belcher. So I'm going to do that, and eventually I'll do that on the other one as well. It's a lovely little throwback to the original Geiger biomechanical concept.